Well, 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 well. It seems like the market on counterfeit magic cards continue to boom. This is, of course, in my opinion, a direct result of the lack of a good solution in either A, eliminating the reserve list, or B, figuring out a way to give people the cards they want that are just simply too expensive. I did a video on these out there as a sort of public service announcement. And well, the new generation, the seventh generation of counterfeit magic cards has been placed in my PO box by an anonymous sender. And I haven't looked at them yet, but I want to remind you, I kept some gen sixes. Okay. These were gosh, just a few months ago. Felt like maybe. And while the cards, in my opinion, the biggest drawback on them were, were the fact that they were kind of extra glossy. Um, they look like a fetid heath, right? If you want something for your cube or to play modern in a sleeve, uh, almost no chance. Here is a counterfeit magic card I in your hand you can tell it's too glossy it doesn't feel like a magic card but it absolutely looks like one now I got I'm not sure what's all in here to be honest with you smells like China oh boy so we see Modern version 7, Legacy version 7, Vintage version 7, Vintage version 7. So let's look at the modern first. Since these will be counterfeits of the newer cards, what I'm looking for is an improvement on the feel of the cards as my G-Chat goes off. Oh, wow. These look really good. They're a little less glossy. In my opinion, they still don't feel like a magic card, but there's a version seven scalding tarn, misty rainforest, verdant catacombs, marsh flats, arid mesa. No way in a sleeve. Anyone detects these are fake. There's just no way. If I put this in a sleeve, you're not going to you're not going to notice the feel, right? You're not going to notice that's a little too glossy. I would say these are a little less glossy. But in a sleeve, forget it. That looks like an arid mesa. Nobody's going to question it. Pretty scary out there, folks. Uh, if you're buying modern cards, let's see what is a part of the set so you can know what to keep an eye out for. We've got the old style flooded strands, polluted delta. So we have basically shock lands, fetch lands you want to look out for. Cavern of Souls. Wow, this looks exact. The backs are perfect, in my opinion. The backs look very, very close. And it's a Liliana of the Veil. All is dust. Thoughtseize looks pretty good. A little muted, probably. Mox Opal. Uh, the current Liberated looks a little off, probably. Cryptic Command, this looks a little faded. A little faded. It, it's funny that they did a Modern Mask. They did the, the fake of the Modern Masters. Yeah, Jace looks a little muted too, to be honest with you. The blue looks a little off, a little light. So some it would appear this fatal push looks perfect. From the from the latest era of printing, these are plenty fine. See the Elspeth too, in my opinion, looks a little light. A little faded, a little muted. The colors on engineered explosives are a little off. But again, if you don't have a real one right next to it, you don't 
There's no way. You don't know. If it's in a sleeve and you're buying it, you definitely don't know. Let's see what's in the vintage set. Now, of course, I do not endorse buying counterfeit cards. I don't like them in the market. So whenever I do these kind of videos, people always ask, will I sell them? No, I destroy them or I keep them sitting on my desk for comparison reason. Here's a vintage 7.0. What's in this set? Ancestral Recall. Black Lotus. Max Pearl. See, I st I, I'm not sure that... I mean, they look... Like, this volcanic island looks off to me. Big time. But these are beta or alpha counterfeits. I bet you, like, the revised version's probably fine. Like, this underground sea kind of looks like a bad scan. Like, the the text on underground sea... Let's see if I can actually get... Uh, I don't have it to autofocus, so probably not. The text on underground sea looks a little off. Here's another... You can notice, like... The rest of the card is lighter than the mana symbols. Soul Ring looks pretty good. Imperial Seal looks pretty close. That looks pretty close. LED. That looks pretty close. Maze of Ith. Moat. Moat looks pretty good. Legends. Original Mana Crypt. So there's definitely, they're not all the same. Here's Tabernacle, that looks pretty good. I mean, this is probably a hundred grand in counterfeit magic cards. Let's see, that's vintage. What do you think is in Legacy? Let's take a look. This is more than a hundred grand, probably. It's probably still the best I've ever seen. And local card shops, if you have an LGS, you should let them know what's out there in terms of fakes. Point them to this video, share this video with your trade groups so people can get a list of what they need to keep an eye out for. See, the revised counterfeits look pretty damn good. It's the black border ones that kind of look off. Bayou looks really close. All the white borders look pretty good. They're like stuck together. Wasteland looks really good. It's funny, this like... You gotta peel them apart. Gaia's Cradle, that looks pretty good. See, this Jace looks better than the other Jace. Maybe they were just running low on ink. Quarter calling. That's weird. I wonder why they're sticking together. Could be humidity, I guess. Aether vial. Dak faded definitely looks faded. <laughs> Dak faded. But still, in a sleeve, probably passable. Or if you're going to use them for like a cube or something like that, where you aren't, you have no intention of selling them. True Name Nemesis, just reprinted in Battle Bomb. Kitchen Finks looks pretty good. This Thought Seize Theros from Theros looks pretty good. Art Angel of Thune looks... I'm trying to like... There are some that don't look good. Ruined Halo. The art it probably doesn't come through on this camera. By the way, I got a new camera. Just figuring out how to mount it. Um, some of these look passable. Some of them don't. Here, Sliver Legion looks bad. This looks pretty bad. Really faded on the art. Silver Queen, Dark Depths, Sensei's Divining Top. These are out there, folks. Grow over the Burn Willows. Here's Vendillion Click. And they only cost a couple of bucks. So, you know, you can get $100,000 in, in fake counterfeit magic cards and you can play Legacy with the cards that look and feel the same, or you can sell your house.
I mean, I don't know. This is the problem. I completely endorse Wizards printed proxies. They need to figure out a way to make that happen. Where they say, well, at the, the reprint list, the reserve list is about, we can't print functional reprints. And of course, these would be very functional reprints. But that said, I feel like here's what, here's what Wizards should do now, in my opinion. Okay. You round up the, the biggest people in the secondary market that you think would have the biggest problem with killing the reserve list. And you have a high council. And you say, look, unless we abolish the reserve list and put something out that is uh, on the same level so people can play these other formats, you're going to be buying and selling more fakes unknowingly. People are going to be buying less of your cards because they're fakes. Let's... Here's what we're going to do. Wizards, we're going to print ultra high quality. Well, they don't know how to do that anymore, but at least Wizards produced tokens like this, but with like a gold border, not even a gold border. You could just do like a weird backing, a, a, like a gold, silver border on the backing. So people feel like they're playing with the real thing. Why not? Who is it really hurting? At this point... By version 10, they're going to be indistinguishable. And I think this is the second variant already this year, and it's only June. So by you know version 8, 9, 10, they're going to be virtually indistinguishable from the original Magic cards. And nobody's going to want to buy any Wizards-produced proxies because they can just buy these. Um, the secondary market is getting hammered with more and more fakes coming in. Um, I feel like they should both be willing to talk at this point. But what do you think? Post it up in the comment section down middle, down below. I look forward to uh, hearing what you have to say. And no, I won't sell these. No, I won't say where they came from. Have a great weekend. Thank you.